So you've decided to start a YouTube channel this year and maybe you've been watching a ton of different YouTubers and wanting to create content just like them. But I'm here to tell you that the content they're creating may not be what you need to start with. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the one strategy that can take you from zero to 10,000 subscribers and beyond. You got to just press record. My name is Heather Torres and I am part of the Think Team. And we are a team of creators helping you build your influence with online video. We are on a mission to help 10,000 purpose-driven content creators build a full-time living doing what they love with the power of video. And we have been making waves here on YouTube, helping creators not only start from scratch, but go all the way to 100,000 subscribers and beyond. And you might be here right now with zero subscribers. So welcome. Maybe you're under that 10,000 mark. And I'm going to share with you a strategy today that I really think feel can be a simple strategy that's going to help you get more YouTube videos done in less time because you're going to know exactly what to create. My question to you is, how do you crack the YouTube code? You know, you think about YouTube, you think about, you know, how do I get my videos seen? How do I become someone who people want to follow, right? That's why we're here on the platform. We're here on the platform to create valuable content that can help people solve a problem. And that's really when you're starting at zero, the first question I want you to answer. Who do I help and how do I help them? What problem do I solve? This is something you want to make sure you're journaling down, that you've got that in your mind before you even get started really on making videos. Now, I'm someone who started on the platform here by doing this one strategy I'm going to teach you with my homeschooling channel. Not only do I uh, teach here at Think Media, but I also have a side hustle, just like you maybe, where I teach people how to homeschool. And this one strategy is what has helped my channel grow on autopilot. Like I am getting views every single day because of this one strategy, getting discovered, getting found. And this is something you can apply right to your channel as well. Now, how do you crack the YouTube code? How do you get discovered? How do you allow your views, like people to actually view your videos? And really it comes down to you answering a question. You answering a question. Type that in the chat right now. I need to answer questions. And how do you do that? Well, we have a formula here at Think that we call ASQ. You want to answer specific questions. How do you break through on YouTube this year? You need to be answering specific questions. If I were to start a brand new YouTube, YouTube channel right now, this is the one strategy I would use to get discovered, to get views, get to my first 10,000 subscribers and beyond. So what is answering specific questions? Well, how do you even find that? Like what questions should I be answering, Heather? What I need you to do is write down the questions that people in your target audience are asking. So what are they going to the YouTube search bar and actually typing in? Well, let's see what happens when you go to the YouTube search bar and you type in how to, right? How to is a great way to get started with answering specific questions because how to means I have a problem. I need to learn how to do whatever my problem is. I need to figure out the answer to my problem. Let's say I had an organizing, like I was helping moms learn how to organize their home. One of my friends says this, she is, has an amazing channel uh, where she is helping people organize with Dollar Tree items. But let's just say I type into the chat how to. I'm gonna type into the chat how to, and then I'm gonna write organize because if I'm someone who is looking to figure out how to organize, that's what I would type into the chat. And then guess what happens on YouTube? Well, when you type in how to organize, YouTube is going to actually auto predict different video ideas for you to create. So now, you know what pops out and you get to see all those different things that people are typing in, you kind of get to choose which one. When you're the user, you're going through and you're choosing which one. Well, as the content creator here on YouTube, this is valuable information. Why? because it's telling you exactly what people are writing into the search bar when they have this problem. And here's what they're typing in. They're not just typing in how to organize, that's still pretty broad. What they're typing in is how to organize your closet, right? If I have the problem where right now I have three kids that are in one room and I have a tiny little 
closet. I need to figure out how do I organize this closet? I'm not just going to the platform saying, how do I organize my home? I am specific with an exact problem. So you want to answer specific questions. What about this one? How to organize my dresser drawer? Wow. That's pretty specific. I mean, when you think about your whole entire house, right? Like right now you're probably sitting in your office, or maybe in your, your, uh, in your living room, or maybe, you know, you're in your kitchen, you're listening to me while you're cooking dinner right now. There is a lot of things in your house that you may need to organize, right? Well, every single one of these search terms is a video and people are very specific with their problems. Did you see that? The difference there? One was how to organize. That's the first thing that was typed in. But look how specific people get with their problems. A dresser drawer. I mean, that's pretty specific, right? When you think about all the things in a home, a dresser drawer is very specific. So you want to be answering specific questions. What about this one? Well, if you are someone who's in maybe the health and wellness space and you want to help people lose weight, well, they're not really typing in how to lose weight. I mean, that is a problem. That's kind of the broader problem. But what's the specific thing they're trying to accomplish? What do they actually need from you? Well, here you can see when you type in how to lose weight, the video idea that you could be creating right now, if this is your niche, how to lose weight in four easy steps. Yes, I want to know that. Please tell me about how to lose weight in one day. You can sign me up for that video. I will watch that video if you make that video, okay? These are the specific questions that you could be answering when you're creating videos. Now, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Right now, Think Media, our main platform, has over 1 million subscribers. Guess what kind of videos we're making? These videos. We're answering specific questions. So if you're just starting and you're at zero and you're needing to know what kind of videos to make, I want to let you know that this strategy, this one strategy, this could help you get to your first 10,000 subscribers. What about uh, how to lose weight fast without exercise? Yes, I want that one as well. All these ones are really great ideas. But what you'll notice here with the blue arrows is I, by typing in that one key phrase into the YouTube search bar, I now have one, two, three, four, five videos that I could create. And guess what each one of those videos are doing? They're answering a specific question. Well, what happens? Uh, here we go. Your power question is, uh, what is your target audience typing into the YouTube and Google search bar? What are they actually typing into the YouTube and Google search bar? A lot of times we think, okay, I need to like sit down and plan. I need to like, I need to, you know, I really need to get into the psychology. You do. You definitely need to. But can I give you a little secret? A lot of this is right in front of you. A lot of this is you actually just asking the people you want to help. Hey, what do you type into the YouTube and Google search bar? When I started my homeschooling channel, this was the exact strategy that I did. I went to about four different girlfriends that I have that I knew were in the process of deciding if they wanted to homeschool. And I said to them, hey, what are you actually typing into the YouTube and Google search bar? And they said things that I wouldn't have really thought about. And I thought, huh, how interesting. I was able to do how to homeschool on a budget because they had a budget. I wouldn't have thought of that, but that's what they were actually asking. So your power question is, what is your target audience typing into the YouTube and Google search bar? Remember, answer specific questions. That's the key to today's training, answer specific questions. And I want to share with you a couple of our students from our academy that are doing this exact strategy and getting amazing results. This is Tara. Now, Tara is uh, in network marketing. She does essential oils. And she decided that she wanted to break through on YouTube to be able to discover more people that would come into her business and purchase the products. Now, one of the things in oils is you have these different types of diffusers. And a lot of times people will get the oils and they have no clue what to do with them. And so Tara decided to answer the specific question, ways to diffuse oils without a diffuser, right? Because it's two different pieces. And so she was answering that specific question. I don't know if you can see it here, but this video alone has 13,000 views. This is Tara who just started. She picked up a camera and made a video about answering specific 
questions. This is Mary. I love Mary because Mary had never used a camera before in her life. Mary is in her legacy years and she decided that she wanted to take the things she was teaching to women at her home into the digital space. And so Mary picked up a camera and she started creating these videos that were answering specific questions like this question, how to make no need sandwich bread. I didn't even know that that was a thing, but Mary's audience was asking this specific question. How do I know? Well, oops, let me go back because Mary has 173,000 views on this video. Her target audience was asking this question. This is Kent. Kent Rollins is a cowboy. This is cowboy Kent. He loves cooking and he does a lot of country style cooking. Well, you'll notice here, Kent decided to just answer the specific question. Here's what he answered. Easy tricks to cleaning a cast iron. That was the, that was it. That's all he had to ask. That's all he had to answer. 3.1 million views. Are you seeing the power of this? Answering specific questions. Now this is Sherry. Sherry loves sewing. Sherry uh, decided that she wanted to leave her corporate job and be able to do her hobby full time. And so she decided to start answering specific questions. Now, what I love about this is that she's just reviewing one actual sewing machine. And if you know anything about sewing, these are not inexpensive items. This is an investment. And so she decided to go ahead and answer the question about this machine. I love that Sherry has uh, now been able to leave her corporate job and do YouTube full time because she decided to answer specific questions. This is Joey. He is an eye doctor. If you've been around Think Media, you've heard us uh, mention Joey a time or two. What I love about what Joey does is he answers specific specific questions. Man, I'm going to say that like 10 times fast and it's definitely going to like trip me up. So if you're like me, you can say it with me. <laughs> but what I love about this is that Joey's at 1 million views on just contact lenses for beginners. His audience had a question. I'm new to contacts. I need to learn how to do this. How do you like open your eyelid and then like touch your eye? How do you keep it all like moist? And what, what do you do? Like I'm a beginner. And so he decided to answer that question. One million views. It's not like he's some famous vlogger. Joey is an eye doctor who decided to pick up a camera and start answering questions questions. And then this is Nicole. Nicole uh, decided to answer the question of tummy time. Nicole is an occupational therapist and a parenting coach. And she decided to go after uh, this key word phrase here, tummy time. Now, if you don't have a child, you're not searching tummy time. But if you do have a child and you're in her target audience, you are definitely searching this term. It is a developmental thing that kids are doing, and it is highly searched on YouTube. Well, she decided to do tummy time for newborns and Nicole did that video tummy time for newborns. You could see it here. And then guess what happened? She made a video about that 2.4 million views. Why? She picked up her camera phone and recorded and answered a specific question. Now, here's what I love so much about Nicole. I just recently pulled these stats from her uh, channel and Nicole right now is generating over 300,000 views on her channel. That is incredible. What I love the most about what happens when you start answering specific questions is you start to not just grow in your views, which is really important, but you also start to create a community on YouTube. And that's what Nicole is doing with five thousand new moms a month actually signing up to be a part of her community. So what action do you need to take? What do you need to do next? Well, your action is to make a list of 10 questions. What are people typing into the search bar? How specific can you be? Remember when I typed in how to organize, it came up with how to organize my dresser drawer. So you want to be really specific on the question that you are answering. And then lastly, you want to create one smart video per week. So if you're going to be answering those questions, if you're starting at zero subscribers, if you're trying to grow your YouTube channel right now this year, then you need to be making one smart video per week. Now, what do I mean by smart video? I mean, put your time and energy into answering a specific question question. And this uh, little training was brought to you by our new Think Masterclass. This is a free YouTube class. And what I love about this new free class is that we're talking about what is working right now on YouTube. Now, I'm sure you've probably watched a lot of videos on YouTube, 
But did you know that YouTube is always changing? Did you know that there's always updates and new things that you need to know about how to dominate on this platform? Well, Sean Cannell, the CEO of Think, did a free YouTube class. You do have to sign up for it. It is not on YouTube. You have to go and watch this class separately. And what I love is that he's sharing the three secrets to use to YouTube success and the mistakes that most creators are making right now. Are you ready to start or grow your YouTube channel? Do you feel stuck and need help connecting the dots? Join this free web class where you'll learn the step-by-step -step playbook for YouTube success. We've helped thousands of purpose-driven entrepreneurs just like you grow their influence with video. Register today for this exclusive training at thinkmasterclass.com.